What is up, guys? Vyra King here, bringing you a guide on 60 stamina Suki the Golden Rhino. Global was not prepared for this guy at all. Um, I'd say less than 1% of Global players can actually use this guy without a gun. Um, the team I'm using is uh, um, free to play. Not really. I mean, it only needs three legends. I mean, come on. The only reason I'm using this team like this is because my Anel doesn't have any skill ups whatsoever because I absolutely hate farming Anel. I will eventually get to it, but just like right now, it's just so annoying. Once I get three day two year Usopp manuals, um, then I will farm Anel. But until that day, Anel is going to be ignored by me. So, because I don't have double quick attack, I need to use my quick Dofi that I just got and then percent HP cutters to make up for that damage that I can't do. So, we have Whitebeard with 30%. Honestly, you could bring Mihawk. I just brought Whitebeard because he has more HP. Leo because of the 20%, and he also locks your slots. And then Gladius is 20% and gives himself an orb, but it doesn't really matter since Doflamingo is right next to him. Um, this raid is like, wow, man, this raid is crazy. I mean, I can do it with this team, but it is, it's kind of pushing it. Um, so we want somebody with like five auto heal, preferably. There we go. I mean, it honestly doesn't matter since it's only level one, because I don't have any sockets on this team. I, I need to socket Doflamingo once, uh, he comes back, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to do to bind despair slot rate and then auto heal that's what i'm gonna do so stage one you just want to get rid of this lady in the back first because i think she somebody's honking right next to me To get some recovery orbs. Hmm. Less than optimal, but oh well. We don't want them to take more hits than they have to. Um, if, if I had level 5 auto heal, this would be so easy. This stage, alright. If you bring primarily quick characters, you need to get rid of this guy, this red guy right here. Because he will bind quick characters for five turns. Um, yeah, that's crazy. And then this guy despairs both of your captains for five turns, the fish man guy. So you need to get rid of the fish man as well as the guy, uh, the red guy. So. Anybody extra also helps. want to stall for everybody special. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next stage. That might be pushing it if I if I uh, stop. So, um, the Neptunian squid. He will pre preemptively paralyze one random unit, including captains, for four turns. Um, and it's a super high chance to not attack for that unit. Out of, I've done maybe like 20 runs, half of them failing, half of them succeeding. Um, I've only ever had a paralyzed unit attack once. Like, it's super high chance. Um, and every turn he does attack, he attacks for like 3,000 or something. Or 4,000. It might be more because I use double Marco. But, uh, and then he also paralyzes another unit for another four turns, uh, including it can stack. So, yeah. We want to get rid of him, and then we want to get rid of the other dinosaur. Oh. There we go. 
Let's get rid of the elder turtle. Fertilization actually helps out with this problem. Um, stage four. Uh, okay, so what I usually do is get rid of the elder stallion first. Um, he will bind a random unit for, I think, six turns. It's either five or six, including captains. Um, that... Got that green, like, south bird and forest residence in the back. It might as well have a two-turn attack interval. Because on the second turn, it will blind you for 11 turns, which is pretty much game-ending right there. Um, so, we just want to get rid of the sea stallion, and then anybody with a one-turn attack interval. There we go. That should be all the stalling we need. We don't need any more stalling. I probably overstalled a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah. Himself. Oh boy, it just got complicated. So he will change your captain with a random bottom unit. So, um, yeah, for one turn of two wounds. That's what you're and then shuffles all orbs, and yeah. So your captain is exchanged for one turn. He has a one turn debuff protector. Next turn, he will exchange your captain again, but this time with a middle unit. And then the third turn, he doesn't exchange anything. Uh, so we're going to be doing our burst on turn three. We're just going to kind of let him do his thing these first couple turns. So just try to get off the little amount of damage that we can with an exchange captain. Because with this team, since I don't have an L at all, like, you really, really need every bit of damage you can get. He, oh, yeah, he halves your health on the second turn. And then he also attacks for, like, 7,008 damage. So. So, I'll be able to live this attack. Alright, now this third turn is where we're going to do our burst. It puts up a two-turn de debuff protector and clears all buffs. Alright, so here's the burst. First off, we do Dofi. That gives us those matching orbs. Then we heal with Marco. And then now we just do our percent HP cuts. Thirty, twenty, and twenty, as far as the percent cuts go. And then, like I said, every bit of damage counts, so Sony as well. And then we just attack. We didn't quite get him, but it doesn't matter. We'll still be able to kill him next turn. Yeah, we'll still be able to get him. And then he revives. 30 HP, but he has, like, infinite defense. Um, so you can combo if they can hit him. So, I only have 20, 24 combo hits total with this team. So, we're going to be tanking a hit from him. Uh, with double Marco Captain, I will take, like, 
I might as well just use the second one just to have full like, HP. Um, but with double Marco capping, you'll take half of his 35,000 attack. Um, so it'll be like 14,000, somewhere around there. But yeah, he has like literally almost infinite defense. It's ridiculous. Um, right, right there, he just like reversed the specials of all of my right three units. So I mean, it's not like a big deal since I already used all my specials. And that is sixty stamina Shiki with a totally, completely free to play team. Um, all of these characters you can totally get without having to spend money whatsoever on the game. I'm doing a thumbs up, but you can't see it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. I know this was not free to play whatsoever, but this is the only team that I could find that works that does not have an L. Um, since my L is a 32 turn cooldown still. So, appreciate you guys watching. My name is Viral King, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.